What's up, YouTube family? Monster Bomber here one more time, making another video. Um, this video today is going to be um, about a couple of uh, cards that I got, and I'm going to talk about just a couple of players. Um, first card that I'm going to show, uh, maybe a lot of people don't know who this is, uh, or even um, heard of him. His name is, I believe I'm saying it right, Ira McKnight. Okay, right here. This um, and it's it's autograph actually. This guy right here. Um, this is uh, what we called the uh, back in the day. He played for the Monarchs, um, the Negro Leagues, and he was the catcher for Sadio Page. Okay, and actually, uh, here's the whole thing right here. And it's actually signed in the back. He also signed it in the back. Um, this guy here, it says right here, catcher for Sergio Page in the early 60s and getting eight straight hits in two games. He went three for three against Davenville, Illinois. The next night in Michigan City, he went five for five during the Negro League's career. His batting average was over 300, and his defense was spectacular. Um, if a lot of people don't know about this guy right here, so this is uh, uh, one that I got for, for my collection. Uh the next card that I wanted, which is funny to me, I've never seen this card I got, is a card here of uh, John F. Kennedy yeah, taking a swing, I guess, uh, playing golf. And here's the back of it. It says here, President Kennedy enjoys a relaxing game of golf at the Hyannis Port Golf Club in Massachusetts. If I said that right, right here. So this is something else. That I uh, I picked up. <clears throat> the next cards I want to show is just um, these are raw cards. This is uh, Fernando Tatis uh, Senior. Uh, I guess that's his rookie card. Yeah, this is 1998. So that's another one here that I picked up. And in the back, uh, you can see it right there. That's his dad. Um, and I got this one here, a raw. That's a uh, his rookie, Fernando Tatis Jr. And it has the old school little cartoons here in the back. The next card that I want to show is one that I've had, <clears throat> which is, um, it says it's a, a 1955. These these cards here were made in, um, like a little cartoon. It's Willie Mays. And they would come with like a little, with a, I believe it was a, a I don't know if it was a nickel or a penny. And right here it says authentic ink. And this is a, a, a real card from that year. But it's like, uh, it's pretty hard. It's kind of, it feels like wood. But it's like cardboard. And in the back, there's nothing. See it? So I thought this card was pretty neat to have. And this is Willie Mays right here. As you can see him. And it says right here, Willie Mays. And then the card says, reject it. Um, I don't know much about it. I know this is original. So if anybody knows about this, um, please let me know in the comments. Let me know a little bit about this card here. Um, other cards that I got raw were these two Tatis or gold cups. As you can see, I got two of them. Uh, put these away. And then <clears throat> the other one that I want to talk about now, this guy here, um, to me, uh, my predictions are um, he will be the rookie of the year, hands down. Um, he's done something that nobody has done so far. Nobody knows about it. He's the only player in in, in um, history, Major League history, that has hit the ball coming off the bat at 115 miles per hour. Not even Aaron Judd has hit it that hard, or or Trout or anybody. This guy has. Uh, you know who it is? Luis Roberts, uh, the Cuban Panther. Right here, another one I got of him. Um, yeah, this guy, he's, he's something else. Here is two more cards of, of Luis Roberts I got. These are, uh, first, uh, Bowman, I guess, uh, paper right here, rookie. This is a Topps rookie. Um, let's see, I have another one. And this one here is, um, this is another player, Eloy Jimenez. That is, uh, turn it up this year, is killing it. Here's another one of, of the what I call the Cuban socks. They got a, a you know these guys 
are a dangerous issue. I mean, I'm a Yankees fan, but my Yankees are not doing good at all. I don't even know if they'll even be in the playoffs. So it's it's crazy. Um, that being said, my predictions um, for the MVP this year, of course, Mike Trout. I think he's going to win another one. I mean, he has 16 home runs already. Um, he's, you know, this guy's just, what can you say? I mean, you, you can't say nothing about him. Either you like him or you hate him. But the numbers speak for themselves. Um, this here, this Luis Roberts here. Look at this beautiful Aqua Shimmer Refractor Auto. I mean, this this guy here, if he wins the Rookie of the Year, just, you know, good things are going to happen for him. He's young and he's talented, I mean, in every way. He's powerful and he's a good guy, <clears throat> you know. And Trout, there's nothing else to say about Trout, you know. So here we go. Um, for my prediction again, it's going to be Mike Trout MVP and uh, Luis Roberts, Rookie of the Year. Um, he's gonna he's having a little a little battle with uh, the Seattle Mariners outfielder. Uh, excuse me, Kyle Lewis. Let me turn the phone this way. Pardon me. And um, but hey, that's good. Competition is is good. I like that. Okay. But um, that being said, that's really all I have for today. Um, everybody, take care of each other. Um, stay healthy out there. Um, you know my my. My family, uh, two members of my family, uh, got positive for this COVID-19 um, stuff, even through all the precautions that we've been taking, uh, and it scares me. Um, so, I, you know, it's just, they're okay, but uh, it was, one of them is my daughter, 14-year-old. Uh, I don't know if she got it at school or where, but, I mean, I've been, we've been fighting so hard to keep these kids safe. But this is something that you don't know when it's coming or anybody can get it. Um, my sister got it too. Um, so I've been, you know, staying away from them. And now I've had to stay away from my daughter for at least uh, 15 days because of this, this crazy shit, excuse me, this madness has been going on in 2020. But all through this, all through this which it's evil, it is evil. Um, I keep my faith in the Almighty. That's it. You know, He can overcome this like nothing. You know, uh, this is a test that we're all going through in life. And it's scary because we all have kids. We got family. You know, young members, older members. So, please be be safe out there. I don't want nobody to get this. I don't want nobody to go through what's been going through my head with my kids. Um, stay safe out there. Keep your faith in God, Jesus. Always, always go to Jesus. Because he will always go to you. Everybody take care. I love y'all. Stay blessed. Bronx Bomber, out.